All right, mini catalysts, quick and dirty inscriber automation tutorial. So I just have an ME interface here, it has all the patterns for the processor parts. It just goes straight into this diamond chest. And then out of that, I have an Ender IO conduit that just extracts on green. And each one of these inscribers here has a different thing. So this is for combining the finished product with redstone and the silicon and the uh, processor part. This one is the inscriber engineering press. That's for the diamond ones, I think. A uh, calculation press. This one's for the um, certus, pure certus. Logic press. This one's for gold. And silicon press. That's to make the silicon part that goes on the bottom of that first one. And you put in acceleration cards in if you want them to go faster. They're really slow. Um, and then each one of these just has an input on the green channel. Um, this first one that combines the parts for all three, you have to input the silicon on the bottom. So I just have a advanced item filter there with printed silicon whitelisted on green. And then on the back here, we input the redstone, same way. Item filter, redstone. Top is the three printed circuit parts. Same thing, item filter whitelist on green. Uh, diamond for the engineering press. Pure Certus for the calculation press. And gold for the uh, logic press. This one is silicon for the silicon. And then on the other side, just pull out. So this is just an extract. I put it on brown, but it's not, you don't even have to connect it to the other line, so you just extract. All these are just extract, plain. That's it. My awful cabling, because I'm too lazy to fix it. Um, and then you just input on brown back into the Yummy interface, just bypass the chest, and that's it. That's automated inscribers. And then I duplicated these because it was too slow. So this one right here is exactly the same as the one below it. So we put silicon on the bottom. Redstone on the side, uh, calculation parts on the top, same thing again, silicon, redstone, parts. And um, then this is for logic processors, the gold ones. Um, you need a lot more of those than the other ones because when you craft things, they're used as components for the higher tier stuff. So you end up needing like, you know, exponentially more of these than the higher ones. And then same thing for the silicon, you need silicon for all three of the parts. So you need a lot of the silicon. So. You you're going to want to duplicate those before you duplicate the other parts. But that's it.